Hey everyone, so we're obviously here at IMTS. We're here with Ken from Muratech. And Ken, I understand you've had a robot competing with a gantry, is that right? We do. Um, we did something a, a little different this year for IMTS. So we took one of our own single spindle tailstock machines and are loading it with a robot versus one of our own gantry loaded machines with a Murata integrator gantry that's our own system. Uh, uh -huh. Kind of two things. The purpose yep. of doing that is to explain to end users that robots are great. We sell a lot of robots, actually, probably pe more than most people believe. Yeah. But you have to properly apply the robot. So a lot of cases, you know, people are looking to just use a robot and open through the door and load and unload a machine. And we're just trying to explain that for machine tending, in a lot of cases, that's too slow. Yeah. Yeah. So what so, we what we did here, uh, Arthur, is just simply a way of showing through the course of the show, the statistics, the actual runtime statistics from machine to machine. Yeah, well, and then it looks like you've got a comparison of like your chip to chip time. We do. Up there. Yeah, so uh, up through today on the single spindle tail stock machine, 981 parts. Okay. Our gantry load with the Murata Automation, 1300. So these so, machines are running the same CNC program. So no one's gone by and like beat no, override up no, over the here? No, the same program, same wait times. Okay. The only difference truly is whether we're using a robot yeah. or we're using the Murata Automation. So why, what makes that big difference? I mean, obviously people got to know when to go with robot, when to go with when to embrace that gantry, right? But right. Um, when, so what, what's the criteria? You sell a lot of robots. When do you push people towards the gantry? So if you have a customer that's going to have the opportunity to run two or three days at a time with production, then there's an opportunity then for them to go ahead and save the cycle time. Obviously, with a robot, you're going to be yeah. going through the front door. You're going to have to worry about safety caging and so forth. Yeah. And all that takes a little extra time. Uh, the robot certainly is going to have a little extra weight capacity. Yeah. So if you're looking at doing something heavy, forging, or even an awkward shaped part, a lot of times the robot does make a, uh, a better choice. Okay. But truly, if you're into the round turn parts, that's all we're doing is seeing how fast we can get parts in and out day to day. Yeah. The robot is not going to keep up with the gantry, and this is what we're proving here. Well, that's, that's magnificent. And one of the things too, and I know you shared this before we got on camera, mm -hmm. And everyone out there, they've, they've seen how fast and crazy fast your gantries are. But right. this isn't even your fast gantry, is no, it? No, no. This is our typical standard gantry. This is one running at 160 meters a minute. Yeah. Uh, for a lot of cases, it's just fine. Uh, oh. Our, our high-speed gantry runs at 240 meters a minute, which is uh, about 9,500 <laughs> inches a minute. So not everyone needs that. Again, we're really focused on trying to match the needs of the customer not just to sell something that may have a little flash or a little spark. Yeah, well, I mean, everyone loves to own a sports car, but when do you get to rev it up all the way, right? Yeah, that's right. It's hard to run that through the school zone, so. <laughs> so if I'm understanding you right though, Ken, if it fits in the gantry, you're really better off doing it in the gantry and it doesn't have to be high production only. You guys have gantries that are gonna help people on the high Cor mix, low volume. A absolutely correct. We. Um, Everyone knows us for a production machining house for yeah. the automotive side, I think that's fair to say. Not so much as the job shop, medium level shop size. Yeah. But as we continue to uh, evolve with our machine offerings, we're also starting to uh, have product for that entry level for a customer to take his first step into automation. And this is kind of what we're showing. But the yeah. idea here is, is also for a 20 man shop to understand that you know if you're gonna compete one to the other, the only way you're going to compete with this setup with your robot is going to be just simply lower your price. Yeah. Because this one's just making too many parts. Again, same CNC program, same cutting, same wait times. Yeah. This one is just simply faster. It's just different automation it solutions. Is, it is different automation solutions. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Ken, for all that you've done to put the project in place to test this so you can give the people out there a very clear yeah. understanding because there's so many people out there that need to automate if they want to compete they're not making the decision because they don't have good information. And this is beautiful information, my friend. This, this is what we all just seeing is believing. Please yeah. just come up and take a peek. We're yeah. here, we're here 338844. Please get a chance to come see us. Awesome. And if they miss you here, you guys are going to be at FabTech and there's other ways to get a hold Absolutely. of you. Absolutely. FabTech and then Jim Toff in Japan. We'd love to see you. Perfect. So if it fits into Muratech, have a conversation with Ken and his team. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you Thank as you always, so Arthur. Much. Good to see you again.